tensing as the metal detector beeps angrily. See Frankie pulled aside by a security guard. They run a scanner over Frankie's body which beeps at their neck, shoulders and arms. Frankie shares a nervous look with you and the rest of your co-conspirators as the security guard guides them away from the rest of the queue. So, uh... <clears throat> Frankie, uh... Stein... Is that Stein? Does it say Stein? The security guard scans the passport in their hands. You, uh... <clears throat> you, uh, carrying, uh... Any weapons there, Frankie? No. No. Frankie shakes their head. It's... Medical. Huh. <sighs> medical. Uh, broke, broke my jaw. Got plates put in. And bolts. Sure, and uh, the arms? Broke them, too. Got plates put in. Right. And bolts. What's the uh, purpose of your trip to London there? I'm going to the, the cricket. The, the ashes. Need to go to the ashes. Frankie is sweating. The security guard's eyes glaze with a telltale blankness. <laughs> Hmm. Got a buddy who's into that. Boys made it tears. The energy seems to abandon them. Their focus, their concern, seems to leak out of them at the thought of the game. It should be an exciting one this year. Am I allowed to go? The security guard blinks, then nods. Yeah, uh... Of course, you ought to have a word with your doc, though. My cousin got one of those bolts put in when he had his shoulder done, but they at least made sure to put it inside of his body. I uh, don't have great insurance. Frankie says with a nervous chuckle, and the security guard nods pityingly. You see Frankie emerge, finally, and they give you a reassuring nod. You look around at your crew of incognito spooks. The werewolf of Wall Street in their high-collared suit and sunglasses. Three goblins in their trench coat. Vlad being classic Vlad. And all the rest. Resolute nods abound. If Frankie had been caught, you would have continued without them. But thankfully, for the moment, your disguises hold. Nervous excitement builds as you board, find your respective seats, and try not to let your apprehension show. You've never flown before? And it's actually really scary. Everywhere. Real eyes. With all the eye juice and everything. Kelly the Skelly had always done whatever possible to avoid eyes. Heck, Kelly didn't even have a pair. Kelly was a skelly. A mess of noisy, dry bones. Bones that loved to rattle and clatter. But today, rattling and clattering would need to wait. On the other side of this flight awaited the strange world of England. The land where Fred the demon Spofford had fled after torching the sacred spooky oak all those many years ago. Kelly missed the spooky times, the japes, the ghoulish fun and games these times were so boring. No skeletons allowed on planes, really. Where's the sense of fun? 
Instead, Kelly had to play pretend, boarding as a duck taped homunculus of pillows and towels, gloves and scarves, dark shades, despite the dark cabin. Vlad said that it'd be easy. It's just sitting. Humans love to sit. They are not so about it. Just sit. What's hard about that? Kelly's bones ached, and that was a big deal, being all bones. Shuffling past the three goblins in a trench coat, Kelly enters the aisle and takes a moment to stretch. It's great for your joints. Suddenly, a hurried figure bumps rudely past Kelly, momentarily dislodging a bony arm. While this would have once, in the glorious heyday of Spookington Falls, been both hilarious and terrifying, spookiness is not allowed. So Kelly is able to shift with the impact and has reconnected the arm before anyone knows anything's amiss. The stranger, though, Kelly turns and sees a hurried cricketer moving to the front of the plane. They dart their eyes back at you. Crimson red eyes. The cricketer enters the cockpit, pushing aside an attendant and closing the cockpit door behind them. Sir, you can't go in there. The attendant reopens the cockpit door and screams. Ah! They're gone! Gone! The captain! The co-pilot! Gone! If Kelly had a gut, it would sink right about now. Does anybody know how to fly? It's been a long, long day. It's been a long, long day. It's been a long day for you, Garboil, the gargoyle. You're almost an hour late to the airport after accidentally walking into a stray sunbeam and turning back into stone. Then you got stuck behind Frankie at the security check, and finally, to top everything off, the kid behind you will not stop kicking your seat. Finally though, it's time to try and relax. After popping an entire bottle of Ambien, you do weigh a trim four tons after all. You settle back into your seat and try to get some much needed shut eye. Then you hear the scream. Does anybody know how to fly? You flex your bound wings guiltily, casting a glance at your fellow passengers. They look back at you in turn, expressions of terror writ large across their faces. The kid behind you gives your seat a particularly venomous kick, and that's all the impetus you need. At least the pilot's chair will be comfortable. You raise your hand, and the humans around you begin to cheer. It's an odd sensation, being celebrated by these people you're made to terrify, and you feel a distinct sense of discomfort as you're led to the cockpit. That feeling is nothing, though, as the attendant sits you in the pilot seat, pats you on the back, and mumbles something about leaving you to it. You know how to fly, how to sense air currents on your wings, and how to dip and soar and build momentum. True to form, humans have found a way to make something as simple as flying terribly complicated. You're overwhelmed by the array of buttons and knobs strewn before you. You push one tentatively, and nothing happens. You push another, more confident now, and a klaxon horn begins to wail as lights begin to flash up across the board. You decide to ignore the buttons for now, and instead grip the stick in front of you. The nose begins to dip and fall in a way that feels at least a little familiar, and finally, you can relax. You feel the ambient really kick in as you pull into London, and then, there it is below you, Lords, the home of cricket. Well, you say to yourself as you hard bank a 747, two birds with one stone and all that. This is going to be one hell of a test match. <laughs>